now let us write a example program which prints out counting seconds so we are developing a counter which counts the seconds using the GI program so for that let us first import tk enter as tk and now let us create root is equal to tk dot the class why we are writing tk because we are we have imported the tk as tk and now let us give the title as give the title something like counter so once we have finished the title let us create a label label is equal to tk dot label we should have to mention tk every time this because we have imported as tk now root and give the color as something like dark green this time and after that you should have to pack it so we have created a label let us create a button button is equal to tk dot button root comma let us give the text for stop and we can also define the width here width is equal to let us say 40 now button dot pack we can use the grid or place as per your comfortability after packing that let us write root dot main loop now let us see what we have created until now before proceeding into the further programming so see here we have created a window the label we haven't given any text because we will be displaying the seconds here so the label will be passed to the method and the seconds will be displayed and when we keep the stop the window should close so first we will write for the stop so for writing any functionality to the button label or anything you should write inside the brackets like command is equal to now call the method so there is a inbuilt method for this because we have we don't need to write this destroy it is inbuilt method so now let us see the output first counter now see when we press the stop the window is closing okay it is fine and now let us create a method called counter label let us say counter itself counter and pass the label so in this counter we are passing this label so the text will be displayed so now let us write the label method so that you can understand let us say counter is equal to 0 initially now define the counter this counter is different so to differentiate don't get confused we will write counter underscore label so we are defining the method label and passing the label to the method now counter is equal to 0 so here we will be defining one more method let us say it count and inside that let us write global counter so that the counter is accessible for entire program now counter is equal to plus is equal to 1 so we are incrementing counter by 1 every time and label dot config now we are giving the text text is equal to str and counter so this counter we are getting as a string and placing in the label that's all and we should also call one more method after let us say thousand comma count why we are writing this we will be seeing the output and then 
explaining it so this means it will be stopping for 1000 milliseconds 1000 milliseconds is nothing but one second so for every one second this counter is getting incremented and the string it is getting as a string and placing it in the label and the count is calling so this will be inside the loop until we press the stop button to close the window now let us see the output see here we have created a successfully counter eight nine so let me zoom it little bit So this is our counter so until we press stop this will be counting the seconds stop so now I think you understood why we have written thousand here so let us say 10 this is 10 milliseconds so it will be so fast see here the counter is for every 10 milliseconds it is changing so that's why we are giving it here thousand Hope you understood how to create it. Try your own. Try practicing. We will be meeting in the next video with the another topic. So this is how we create a counter. So meet in the next video with some other topics. Until then keep practicing.